G'day. Welcome to sunny Queensland, where it's beautiful one day, relaxing on a canal the next. My name's Dan Jones, this is the Boat Brokerage, and today I've got an awesome boat to show you. One of my favorite brands, as I'm sure many of you are well aware. This is an Axapar 24. 2017 model, perfect boat for zipping around the canal system up here where I am today in Broad Beach, Queensland. But not only is it perfect for zipping around enclosed waterways, visiting your mate's places, going to restaurants, this is a boat that you can go offshore, belt up and down the coast at 25, 30 knots, be comfortable, dry and protected. And it's also a boat that you can entertain your family and friends, a decent amount of you for a good time out in the day with all the sun protection and the weather protection that this style offers. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a walkthrough. We'll start at the front of the boat and I'll try and cover everything off. We sold this boat new and uh, in Sydney and then it ended up uh, with the current owner up here in Queensland uh, and he's absolutely loved the boat. He's actually gonna to move to something a little bit bigger and continue the journey. The 24, um, it's the cutting bow concept. I'll cover that off in a second. But starting at the front of the boat, I'm on the beach, as you can see. You can use these grab handles and just jump off on the bow. So it's perfect for um, just darting around, visiting people, nosing up on the sand. You don't need to worry about tenders and all the complication that that involves. Uh, but if you need to anchor, anchor locker right here. There you go. It's got the bow roller just set up there on the bow. And then this area is nice and usable, as I said, for accessing the beach. Axapar is well known for having this practical rub rail around the side, and we got cleats and good rails and grab, uh, grab points all over the boat. Um, up here in the bow, we have, uh, this is like a sun lounge area. So at the moment, I've got it, the L-shaped seating here and the table has been lowered. So I'll show you that. And over the top of the table, there is another cushion which folds out and turns this whole section into one big bed. Now, there was an option to add extra shade up here from the factory. This one doesn't have it, but I've, I could argue the point that you've got so much shade in the middle of the boat because this T-top section is full beam because this is a center walkthrough design. I could argue that you don't necessarily need it because you know some people are going to want to sunbake, some people are going to be want out, of, want to be out of the sun. So that's uh, where this design is good because the less moving parts, the more you're going to use it. Now underneath here we got storage, so that's where your longer legs are for this table just below me, and that's how you raise the table and put it into picnic mode, uh, just here. So if you're going to have a little meal, you'd probably do it up here. We've got drink holder there and there. And then we've got another seat here. And then we move aft and come into the cockpit. That, that door just closes there. We do have more storage underneath this table. So if you remove that, you can have this bow area open. You don't have to have the table in place. So you can just stow that um, down on one of the beds here or actually in that locker. And there is more storage just up the front as well. So that forward seat also hinges up as well. We've got speaker, speaker, blue courtesy lights as we come back. And then this center walkthrough, and this is the only uh, model on the Axapar range that did this center walkthrough. The rest of them are all walk around, but it makes very good use of the space and gives you this wonderful area that we see here. So this closes up just here and the T-top Sunshade starts from here. So from here back, you are well protected. And then let's just take a look. It's designed with two single beds. So one here and one here. And it, there was an option, although this one doesn't have it, to install uh, a, another cushion in the middle here. And that would be really easy to retrofit if you wanted to make this into one ginormous bed. And just for reference, okay. Sliding down, my feet are now touching the end. This is how much space you've got. So it's a nice long bed. It's, you're not gonna really go overnighting on these boats all that much, but it's certainly a boat that gives you the option to just have a kip, get out of the sun, 
somewhat at rest. You know, put some cushions down there and you're all good and comfortable. And the other obvious thing is the storage. So we have the cushion which goes up in the bow there. That's stowed there. It's got my jacket and bag as well. There isn't any storage underneath these two beds because that's where some of the boat's tankage and systems is located. But this step is actually removable and there was an option for the uh, from the factory to have a pull-out camper toilet. Um, so obviously that's a little bit weird, but the, the Europeans would do that. And I guess, you know, if you're close with your mates or family, you can also do the same. Just get one of those porta potties uh, and put it in there. Now, underneath this section of the floor, we do have another locker. That's an enclosed locker, and that's great for a grab bag, uh, safety grab bag. So that's, that's a sensible place to store more gear. A couple more uh, deck lights just there. And moving aft, we come to the dual consoles. So we have on the port side, we've got this cold water sink, flips up. So you'd probably just uh, put, put your cups and a few bits and pieces that you're going out for the day and stow them in there. Then we've got our VHF radio. We've got our fusion system, 12 volt charging just there, subwoofer there. And then we've got a storage area, which is good for your sunscreen and bits and pieces. That's good for a coffee cup, not really big beer bottles, I would say, more a coffee cup or a can of beer. And then a phone will sit here quite happily uh, and not get lost, so that's fine. Fusion speaker there, fusion speaker there. Same storage set up on the starboard side. And ooh, one thing I didn't cover, if you put your beers just in here, coffee, beer, happy days, and not on the port side. That's only for the skipper. So, the helm itself. I'll sit down so you get reference. This seat is adjustable. So this seat actually will spin around and, and face aft and it will also go forward and back. So um, just to give you some uh, a feel for it, I have got an angled footrest down here. This is a flip up bolster. And in terms of the ergonomics of this design, I love this 24 because you can rest your arm and then have good throttle control just here. Your left hand is on the wheel. This wheel is adjustable, so it'll go up and down uh, on, a, a, on an angle depending on what suits, uh, what, what suits you. And then you've got the flip up bolster, so you can stand. But I find this 24, it's not a boat that you drive or you feel the need to drive standing too much. And just give you another angle there because there's such a flat running boat. They don't, row, they don't raise their bow on acceleration and they don't run high. And so you can always see, you've always got great visibility. So you can just sit, be out of the wind, um, feel secure and enjoy the ride. Um, obviously you're gonna be in the shade too. So in terms of what we've got here, we've got our electronic throttle. That's got a um, start stop feature just here, but you can also start and stop it um, using the key there. You've got our throttle only just there docking button will just drop the revs if you were coming into park and you're worried you're going to over rev it a little bit um, and then you've just got your lights for night time you can uh, raise or, or dim the lights just there we have trim tabs here as i said the wheel is adjustable we've got a compass just here and we've got all our boat systems so we've got na uh, nav lights anchor lights deck lights auxiliary we've got our windscreen wiper uh, button just there horn and bilge pump We've got our engine diagnostics here, and that's an auxiliary plug-in for the Fusion. Another thing, I also just rest phones down here. So charged phones will be rested there. Phones on charging are gonna be on that one over there. Um, next service is due at 306 hours on the Mercury 250 on this one, and it's all up to date. And then moving around, I'll see what else I can show you. Um, the T-top material is the grey Sumbrella, so that's really good for Aussie conditions. There was an option in this era, Axapar, to have a 3DL material, which looks super cool, but it would, uh, you know, a boat of this age, it would have uh, you know, lost its integrity by now, so that, that's great. Then you've got this um, fiberglass structure, which goes all around, that gives you the structure of the T-top, and then it's just material in the middle, so what Axapar are doing is trying to keep the center of gravity low, keep the overall weight down, so you've got the rigidity of the structure itself, and then you just keep it light with the material, and this is all, uh, this will be like uh, uh, aluminium uh, framing here, painted white. Now these zippers that you see here, that's all part of the boat's covers. So the covers are split up in three. There is a triangular shaped one which goes over the bow, then you move back, 
and you have one for this whole section here that zips up. You follow the two zippers down either side, then there's a couple of clips after the helm seats. And then the last one is a separate cover which goes over the rear seats just here. Before we get there, we've got the helm seat. I mentioned that's adjustable. These will spin around. So you've got a social setup just here. Um, you know, five, six people could kind of sit around and face each other and enjoy the day. Um, you've got your boat's control board, so batteries. You've got another charging point and your fuses are all just located there. More courtesy lights just there and on the other side. And then we have an electric fridge, and just an isotherm just there. As I said, that seat will adjust as well. And coming back, we have fender and rope storage just in here. That'll hold three fenders and some ropes. That is your manual bilge pump. It does have electric as well. And then we've got the fuel filler here. That's an anchor, uh, not an anchor, what am I saying? That is a flag pole holder, and that is a um, rod holder just there. The aft seat, three forward facing seats, that is fixed. They are not adjustable except for the armrests and then the middle section will pop up and that's to open the battery box just below, which we'll have a look at in a second. Moving aft, and look, we will get the boat detailed before any handovers. It's just an opportune time for me to film the boat and we didn't have a chance to do it today. Um, this is a great spot for storing, you know, fishing rods, rod holders, any long items will stow very nicely down there. And next thing worth pointing out is this ski uh, tow pole so obviously it's good for you know towing biscuits and skiers but the other thing it's great for is just for people to hold on to you know it's a safe uh, grab hold for people boarding and disembarking so that's that's nice and both of these swim platforms a decent size but on the starboard side we've got our telescopic swim ladder that just pops out there another rod holder more cleats more storage on the starboard side so we've got some safety gear in here but that's intended for fenders so that's just another spot there and then we've got a swim shower there vhf aerial just here and then we're looking up the mast setup it's got our navigation but you could put more uh, instruments on it should you wish now coming back down i'm just going to adjust my little doobie whacker so i can get down here looking under the seat We've got storage. So this is a good place for guests' bags. Um, so when they board the boat, they might take out the bits and pieces that they need for the day, uh, put them at the dash, phones, wallets, sunscreen, that sort of thing, and then just stow their bags here. And there's also more space underneath here. So another spot, you may store some longer term items. You know, you might have a box of water bottles or something that you store on the boat and just want to leave on board all the time. That's a good place for that. But then the guest bags can go there. And then the other obvious place is here and here. So you're not wanting for storage on this boat. Uh, and whilst I'm here, this, oh, that's what I forgot to do. That opens like so. There's your battery box, just there. So that's your battery box. This is access into your fuel tank, just here. So that's fuel and then water is forward. So you're keeping the weight nice, centered and low in the boat, which is all about Axapar's philosophy. And then that's essentially all that area is for. It's not really a storage area. Um, it's just for power. And you have the house and engine cranks. So I think I've covered pretty much the whole boat and we did get the drone up in the air. She's just, as always, fast, fun, smooth and dependable. I guess that's a word you could use. You know, when you're, if you're new to boating, not even if you're new to boating, if you're an experienced boater and you're looking for, you're looking for the best possible on water experience, you will get that from an axe apart. But if you're perhaps new to maneuvering in close quarters, pulling up to docks like we see here, and maybe a bit nervous about banging into your neighbor's boat, a boat like an Axapar is gonna be fantastic for you because they track straight and true. Um, they're very predictable in the way they go through the water. Some boats you know, have a tendency to go a little bit sideways. Um, as soon as you come off the power, they just kind of drift along like a you know like like on ice i guess um is, is the closest thing i could think of but an axapar will 
track nice, straight and true. So you can just let go of the wheel, put it back into neutral, and she's just gonna go where you were pointing. So it just makes the whole day's boating a lot easier, a lot more stress-free. And at the end of the day, that's what you want because then you go boating more. Anyway, this is the 2017 Axapar 24 T-Top. My name's Dan Jones. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was informative. If you want to have a look, follow the link in the description below. That'll take you to the link on the website because these boats do tend to sell pretty quickly. Happily give you a virtual tour or we can organise a face-to-face -face inspection by appointment. Uh, my name's Dan Jones, this is The Boat Brokerage. See you on the next one.